This car's interior is just, I mean, beautiful. I think for the most part it is original paint because um, I don't see any transitions here. Although on one side, on that fender right there, I think it may have been painted just because I saw a little bit of overspray on that, that little rubber piece or maybe it was touched up. But um, definitely it looks like here is all the original paint. I don't see any transitions in the paint where they, where they taped it off or anything. Appears to be the original paint. And this interior from from here to the seats to the dash if you wanted to buy a project and try to restore it into this condition you wouldn't be able to it would cost you tons of money and i don't know if it would even look half as good as this and this one is just all original the wood is lovely it doesn't look like it's cracking You can see the gas pedal and the gas and the brake pedal don't look like they have a lot of wear and neither does this one here. The carpets are in really good shape. These are the floor mats, but if you pull back the floor mats, the carpets are, are excellent condition as well. And under the carpet, it still has the original rubber and that's in pretty decent shape as well. And there's no sign of any rust underneath any carpets, carpeting or anything. headliner is in excellent shape this seat has a little scratch right here but besides that just beautiful the dash very nice 143,000 miles The seats, carpets are all very nice here. Headliner is perfect.
these seats are very plush. They're almost like new. Obviously the carp carpets are in great shape. These are the floor mats underneath the carpet is in good shape, but this is disintegrating now. Um, but the carpet itself is in very good shape as well. You can always take these off. And then again here, I don't see any sign of repaint unless they really did a lot of work and took everything apart. Um, besides that, it looks like it could very well be the original paint. All except for, I believe right here, there's a little bit of overspray. I believe like right here, you can see a hair bit of white. Maybe that could be buffing compound, but. Headliner, excellent. These seats are just beautiful. So here you got no rust, um, no real rust. If this is not what I call rust, that's just surface rust. But here, no rust. It opens and closes good and the gaps are pretty good here. Extra wipers and nothing really special under here except for um, obviously the carpet. This car fires right up every time. No excessive smoking at all in the back. That noise is just this. So if I hold it down, it doesn't make the noise. It's just this thing rattling. So try to ignore that if you can. Engine bay's in very good shape and the motor sounds very healthy. There's no sign of rust or anything in the frame here. In terms of electronics, it looks like uh, these two windows right here don't work. These two windows do work. And the same as the one in the back. The radio. Right. 
So here's our classic Mercedes. I mean, this car is just in excellent condition, I would say. It's one of the cleanest ones I've had. Not the cleanest because I've had one that was nicer. It only had 20,000 miles, but this one was is definitely a contender. But I would say it's the second nicest one we've ever had and only because it just has 140,000 miles. But cosmetically inside, it's stunning. Mechanically, it's very sound. Odometer is working. You can see it go up right there on the bottom. I mean, really, you could drive this car anywhere. The steering wheel is nice and straight. There's no unusual noises in the suspension. And it's pretty quiet inside of here. It's not very loud. The turbo feels like it's got a lot of power too. I can easily go 70 miles an hour on the highway and I can go faster if I wanted to. All our gauges seem to work well. There's no lights on the dash. Underneath this car obviously has no, it's a California car since it's new, so you don't have any rust down here. Everything in the back looks pretty normal to me. I don't see rust or anything. The tires have good thread. Like they look new, but they're cracked and old. But they don't look like they've been really driven on. And underneath, this car has never had, uh, I don't know if you guys are in the East Coast or where you guys are, but here in California, we got really solid cars. So no rust, no previous rust. Nice, solid car. Again, the tires have a lot of thread, but you can see they're cracked, so they ride fine. I personally don't care too much, but um, for someone who's buying it and who's gonna drive it, I would probably recommend you change the tires. That's the oil pan, the transmission pan, and the floors, very nice. Nothing concerning under here that I noticed. Um, you can park it, it doesn't drip anything on the floor. Obviously it's an old diesel, so it's got residue but what's well, also nice when you get cars from the east coast they're all um, under under you see the black spray because they undercoated them in california we don't do that so you can see the paint you can see the floors are original you don't have to worry about what's under the undercoating does that make sense Those are all the books. It's got the original stickers in the back of here. It's had the same owner for a long, long time. So it's got, uh, in the Bay Area, it's got a lot of old records here. A lot of old paperwork, if you see here. Old registrations, you'll see they're all in the same name. It was an Asian guy in Berkeley. Here are a bunch of service records from the dealer. So I'll walk you through them real quick here.
up until 112 it's had the same owner what year was this since 96 it really wasn't driven a whole lot after that these are all the old registrations